హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ దిస్ ఈస్ కరుణ టీచింగ్ ద కోర్స్ కంప్యూటర్ ఆర్కిటెక్చర్ అండ్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ఫోర్త్ యూనిట్ కంటైన్స్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ టాపిక్స్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ విచ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ కాన్సన్ట్రేటింగ్ ఆన్ ఇంట్రప్ట్ ఇంట్రప్ట్ హార్డ్వేర్ ఇంట్రడక్షన్ ఇన్ ప్రోగ్రామ్డ్ కంట్రోల్డ్ ఐఓ ప్రాసెసర్ ఎంటర్స్ ఏ వెయిటింగ్ లుక్ ఇన్ విచ్ ఇట్ కంటిన్యూస్లీ మోనిటర్స్ ద స్టేటస్ ఆఫ్ ది డివైస్ డ్యూరింగ్ దిస్ పీరియడ్ ఇట్ డస్ నాట్ పర్ఫార్మ్ ఎనీ యూస్ఫుల్ టాస్క్ ఇన్ మెనీ సిచ్యువేషన్స్ ద అదర్ టాస్క్ కెన్ బి పర్ఫార్మ్డ్ వైల్ వెయిటింగ్ ఫర్ అన్ ఐవో డివైస్ టు బికమ్ రెడీ to do this an alternative arrangement can be used for the io device to alert the processor when it becomes ready by sending a hardware signal called an interrupt request to the processor so one of the bus control line can be used for this purpose called interrupt request line now processor is no longer required to continuously check the status of external devices in this waiting period okay instead of that processor can perform other useful task or functions so this waiting periods can be eliminated by using interrupts what is mean by interrupt interrupt it is an external event to the currently executing process that causes a change in the normal flow of instruction execution usually generated by hardware devices external to the cpu let us see here this is processor and io devices okay so processor busy with the execution of main program whenever io devices are ready to perform its task okay uh, we have discussed earlier about io devices we can take either keyboard or display device okay so when keyboard or display devices are ready then those devices will send the request to the processor okay so in this case i would devices send the interrupt request to the processor by activating a bus line called interrupt request when i would device is ready to perform its task okay so when processor receives interrupt request it must branch to the interrupt service routine okay and also it must inform the device that its request request has been recognized this may be accomplished by means of a special control signal called interrupt acknowledge signal here inta okay so initially when i o devices are ready to perform its task request sends the interrupt request to the processor then processor jump to the respective sub routine before jumping to the sub routine processor sends the interrupt technology signal to the io devices that indicates the recognition of the request signal okay let us see how the control transferred from main program to sub program okay here this is main program and this is sub routine or sub program or we can say for example print routine okay so this routine is executed based on the interrupt that's what this is known as interrupt service routine any routine interrupt service routine must be ended with a i written instruction okay i written instruction now main program here we already discussed about processor perform the task while waiting for an io device to become ready okay so here now processor performing the instructions present in the program 1 
okay so first instruction is located at one address second instruction is located at two address like that this instruction is loaded at eighth address okay so here while performing the instruction at the eighth location when interrupt occurred or that interrupt request is sent by the io device then processor uh, needs to stop the main program and jump to the interrupt service routine based on the request signal okay so now let us see processor is executing the instruction located at i when interrupt occurs okay so routine executed in response to an interrupt request is called the interrupt service routine okay so here when interrupt occurs control must be transferred to the interrupt service routine okay so before branching or jumping to the isr routine, whatever the previous program conditions okay or previous program status and the written address that is next instruction of the ith instruction i plus 1 will be stored in pc okay so the content of pc that is i plus 1 will be stored on to the stack okay so here before branching to the interrupt service routine pc and also other information such as conditional code flags processor registers used by both the interrupted program and interrupt service routine must be stored on the processor stack okay let us see <coughs> whenever interrupt occur i then processor stores the previous program execution status and the written address that is i plus 1 present instruction is i the next instruction address is i plus 1 so that is loaded into pc this is the written address okay so after uh, performing isr routine processor needs to perform i plus 1 instruction so it has to store this written address onto the stack okay and then jump to the service routine and start execution of service routine okay that may be print or read a routine whenever interrupt return a uh, instruction occur then stops that routine execution and then jumping to the main program so before coming to the main program processor collects whatever the stored information that is content of the pc and content of the status registers and then continue the uh, next instruction of the call that is located at i plus 1 this is how processor performs the interrupt service routine based on the interrupt request okay see here saving and restoring information can be done automatically or by program instructions okay so this saving and restoring registers involves memory transfers because stack nothing but set of memory locations okay before jumping to the service routine the information about the previous program ex execution it should be stored on to the stack okay and uh, after completion of isr that must be restored from the stack okay that we can say saving and restoring registers involves memory transfers okay because of this execution time increases okay so we can say uh, the delay between the time an interrupt request is received and the start of execution of the interrupt service routine this delay is called interrupt latency okay so because of memory transfers interrupt latency may be increased okay so in order to reduce the interrupt latency most processors save only the minimal amount of information this minimal amount of information may be program counter content and the status register contents let us see an equivalent circuit for an open drain bus used to implement a common interrupt request line here this is the circuit for accessing the interrupt request from the 
डिफरेंट आईओ डिवाइजेस ओके सो हियर आई एन टी आर वन इंटरप्ट रिक्वेस्ट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द आईओ डिवाइस वन आई एन टी आर टू रिक्वेस्ट कमिंग फ्रॉम द डिवाइस टू एंड सो ऑन आई एन टी आर एन रिक्वेस्ट कमिंग फ्रॉम द आईओ डिवाइस एन ओके सो हियर दिस इज द प्रोसेसर इंटरप्ट रिक्वेस्ट सिग्नल इज कनेक्टेड टू द प्रोसेसर ओके ऑल द आईओ डिवाइजेस आर कनेक्टेड टू द प्रोसेसर थ्रू दिस इंटरप्ट रिक्वेस्ट पिन okay so this is uh, intr having bar okay so that's what we can say the signal is act to low signal okay whenever the signal is low then only processor receives the request signal okay so here not get is present low okay whenever the signal is zero then output is one output of the not get is one okay so intr is one then processor performs that particular isr routine okay see how this circuit works iwo devices request an interrupt by activating a bus line called interrupt request most computers have several iwo devices that can request an interrupt a single intr line may be used to serve n devices as shown in this figure okay so all devices are connected to the line via switches to the ground to request an interrupt a device closes its associated switch all intr signals intr1 to intr n are inactive when all switches are open at the time the voltage on the intr line will be equal to vdd okay this is inactive state of the line intr line see if all switches are open then all intrs are in inactive then the voltage on the intr line is equal to vdd okay that means high high means intr is zero okay if all the switches are closed okay then we can say intrs are in active mode okay then the voltage on the intr line drop to zero causing an interrupt request signal received here that means whenever this switch is closed then the voltage on the intr line is equal to zero okay then if it is zero then output of the not get is 1 okay that means we can say intr is in active state so here when intr bar is 0 intr is equal to 1 is received by the processor okay here intr 1 intr this intr intr is equal to intr 1 intr 2 and so on intr n okay so r gate is used between all the signals any one of the intr is high then output of the intr is also high okay so in this circuit special gates are used to drive intr line so either open collector uh, circuit for bipolar circuits and open drive for mosfets okay here the switch is connected to io device okay this intr is coming from the io device okay if this signal is zero state then switch is open if the signal from input device 1 is in high state then this switch will be closed okay whenever io device wants to send the interrupt request signal to the processor at that time the switch will be closed there is no request signal present this intr pin is zero then it will be switch will be open in open circuit more voltage is available a high voltage is available in closed circuit zero voltage is available okay so whenever this signal is low then intr become high whenever this intr bar is one then intr is zero okay so the output of this gate 
determined by the data applied to all the gates connected to the bus according to this equation okay here r is called pull up resistor because it pulls the line voltage up to the high voltage state when the switches are open okay likewise interrupt request signals are accepted or can be received by the processor through this switches okay so whenever this interrupt request signal is received by the processor processor immediately uh, jump to the corresponding isr routine of the io device before jumping to that io device processor sends the acknowledgement signal to the io device which is requested for interrupt this is how the processor is no longer required to continuously check the status of external device in this waiting period processor can perform other useful functions or we can say other tasks can be performed while waiting for an io device to become ready okay thus waiting period can be eliminated by using interrupt okay likewise if the waiting period eliminated then automatically system performance can be improved let us move on to the questions what are the contents stored in stack when processor before jumping to isr routine next question what are the status bits of status register next question what is mean by interrupt latency thank you we will meet in next video